Today we look at the Boba Fett's throne room playset as seen in the Book of Boba Fett, or more likely as seen in the after credits teaser of the Mandalorian season that it appeared in, which is where the included Bib Fortuna figure is from. You can tell because he's a little bit heftier than he was back in his Return of the Jedi days. And this set is kind of massive. I was a little bit surprised by how big it was once I took it out of the box. And that box has been sitting uh, in my overflow pile for a while. I just hadn't gotten to the right moment where I wanted to do this unboxing. One, because I didn't really have a spot for it, but I do now. And two, uh, leading up to the unboxing of the Vintage Collection Job of the Hut, which is going to be out soon. And I'm looking forward to getting mine. So I'm building up to that with my kind of back stocked of Jabba's Palace playsets, which is kind of a weird thing to have so many of. Well, two's not a lot, but I have two. So today we're going to look at the throne room, whether it's got Boba or Jabba on the throne remains to be seen. It'll end up being Jabba eventually and see if this playset's worth having. There were no wonder. I would certainly like to. Illustrious Gabba, bit you welcome. <laughs> wonder, wonder.
And here we have Bubba Fett's throne room. Currently Bib Fortuna's throne room. Soon to be Jabba the Hutt's throne room when I get him. And I honestly have very little negative to say about this set. I'm very happy with it. Uh, I was a little upset when it went on sale a couple of months ago. It was like 40 or $50 off at the time. But now that I've gotten to open it and mess around with it and enjoy it, I'm not too mad that I paid the full price for it. It turned out much better than I even could have hoped for. And I can't wait to set up Jabba in it and set up all his little minions and, you know, make it Jabba's throne. I'm super stoked about it. It's something I've wanted to have had for a long time, and it's turned out great. The negative I have to say about it is that these thin-stemmed goblets don't really connect into some of the trays very well that have, like, the little holes for them to attach to. And with the stems being so thin, you can't force the issue too much. Otherwise, you may snap or put too much pressure on it that there'll be stress marks on it, so you've got to just have to... Let them sit there and balance them on them and uh, hope a strong wind doesn't knock them down. I was never able to even to attach the two goblets that sit on the roaster in the back. I just decided to turn the tray over and just balance the pieces on it instead. Just because it was too much of an effort and I didn't want to break anything. So, But it sat on my shelf for a fair amount of time without anything falling over. So I think the balance is pretty good on most of the objects. So that's good. The other negative is... It's kind of a negative, but a lot of these things are very small, especially like the two cups that go on the back back there are just tiny, tiny. So you got to be careful you don't lose any of them. Even though this is probably the only time Bib's going to sit on his throne, I just don't have any interest in displaying this scene, especially when he's only in the uh, Mandalorian season finale or after credit sequence for like less than two minutes. So there's no real desire to uh, have him on the throne much longer than this. But he's still a good figure. He sits down on the throne just fine. He's got some good paint apps on his face. He looks great. Uh, some great little details on his cloth robes, I think, turned out really well. And uh, the staff that he comes with was a great touch by the production design team for the show, which is a reference to the staff that came with the old vintage collection figure, the old 1983 vintage figure or whatever that came out when Return of the Jedi first came out. It's a reference to the figure having that staff back then, even though he didn't have it in Return of the Jedi, but he finally got to have that staff now. So yeah, I really like this set. Like I said, I don't have anything else really negative to say about it. I love that they had the foresight to make it so that way this platform was removable and you can swap them out for Jabba. That was really smart on their part because they know that people are going to prefer this being Jabba's palace over Boba Fett's palace. So good job on Hasbro for thinking of that. It's one of the few times it feels like they actually know their fans. So glad they did that. So if you want to put together a Jabba's palace diorama and you've been on the fence about getting this, I'd say definitely get it. I think it's well worth the price. It's still in stock, so maybe if you feel lucky, you might want to wait around like Black Friday. It might go on sale again. Might not. Tough to say, and you might miss it. It might sell out. So, up to you. I think it's worth getting it full price. Like I said, I did, and I don't feel too disappointed that I did. So, check it out. Okay, that's it for today's video. Here's your hint at the next build video. Leave a guess what you think it is in the comments below. Until then, stay safe. Happy hunting. Wonder, wonder, you wonder, wonder. Who did that? No, no, no. Oh, Lord. <laughs>